This is Pat's Two Cents, reminding you that God's into love. You know, we were having a discussion. Uh, and we were dealing with emotional scars and all these arguments and all these hurt feelings and offenses and how people get on our nerves and why do I always have to be disrespected and why do you know, I feel like I got to stay away from people or else I'm going to get in an argument or somebody's going to be bothered by me or they're going to disrespect me or I'm going to get mad at them and I'm going to flare up at them and all this big explosive stuff going on. Well, check this out. You know, I want to talk to you about shadow boxing. Shadow boxing those hurts, those feelings, those attitudes, those insecurities. You ever watch a boxer, they're, they're up there just going through all the motions, they're throwing punches, and they're beating the air, they're doing the ducking and they're dodging. Nobody's swinging at them, but they're dodging and they're ducking. They're learning all the maneuvers of defensive fighting and offensive fighting, and they, they're getting all the moves down and uh, uh, like um, um, Muhammad Ali used to sing, uh, float like a butterfly, sting like a bee. Well, sometimes, you know, we're, we're ducking and dodging our way through life. And we don't realize ain't nobody throwing punches. We think they are. We think they are because what they said was offensive to us. Well, my question to you is why was it offensive to you? Why did that bother you? And here's my answer. Nine times out of 10, you're sensitive in that area because you have a corn, you have a sore spot, you have a broken bone that didn't heal correctly in your emotions, in your psyche. And you think when somebody says something that way, they mean this, that, and the other. And the person could just have a tone of voice they're not thinking of, they're just asking you a question. And you took the thing and made a whole scenario out of it. For them, it was a question. To you, it was attitude. It was an attack. It was disrespect. It was a snide remark. It was a put down, putting you on the spot. They're judging you. And, and it was none of the above. And like the scripture that says, the wicked flee where no man is pursuing. And that's what we do. We get all tied up, wrapped up, tangled up in our insecurities, in our personal fears, in our own issues. And we turn a simple act into a major attack. A, 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 a person's getting ready to proclaim war on us. Oh yeah, boy, they got the guns and the bazookas and the, and the tanks and all the artillery. And all they do is ask an innocent question. And we're up in arms with the sirens going. <laughs> ask God to heal those wounds. A simple question can lead to a big explosive argument based on your emotional scars alone. Ask God to heal your wounds. See, that's what the Bible means when it talks about that root of bitterness springing up within you and thereby many be defiled. Whole lot of folks get hurt. Whole lot of feelings get hurt and offended because you're already offended in something that happened to you when you were four years old and you haven't gotten over it. And you won't get over it until God gets in there and gets it out and heals you. God bless you. Think on these things. Amen. This is Pat's Two Cents reminding you that God's into love.